that to save me some time from having to start just from scratch. So you can see here, you can see social media, events, marketing documents, all those kinds of things. Um, and then you can let me scroll down. You can see your recent designs and then it'll show you Instagram posts and all these things here. So tonight I'm just going to show you guys how to make a super simple um, like Instagram post invitation to a class type graphic. So I tend to like super like simple, plain, clean graphics, um, but you guys can make whatever you want. So I'm just going to type in Instagram post invitation and see what comes up. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to take this and it's not going to look like this at the end. Um, I'm going to change all the things on it. So once you choose your template, you go over here and on the side right here, you can see where you can upload images, um, different like elements, which just means like different graphics or pictures. Like um, I'm going to delete this present and I'll add something else there, um, different text and all that kind of stuff. So um, let's see here. In my way. All right. So you just click and then you'll right here, you'll see different colors. Um, it'll give you all the colors of that are already on there. And then you can do default colors or choose your own palette. But I'm just going to use this green because that's typically what I like to use. And then I'm just going to do in oils 101 class, but for all this kind of stuff, um, you can see over here where if I was to hit text, I can go over here and select a different template. So these ones, obviously, because I chose some weird red party invitation at the beginning, aren't exactly what I'm going for. So I am just, I can just click like this and add a different heading or subheading, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to delete the one that is already there. Keep having to move the pictures of you guys out of the way. <laughs> okay. So basically, I have completely started over. And then here, where you can see different um, fonts. And what I love about it is that every single time it saves my recently used fonts. So these are the fonts that I typically use. I like to use um, like calligraphy or whatever, I guess you would call it. Um, but you can search on here. So if I wanted something like you can see, I searched handwriting. Um, you can search like block letters, bubble letters, literally any, any kind of font that you want, you can search that on there. So I'm just going to click back to handwriting so that you can kind of see. And then you can see all these different fonts. Um, I do have the premium version right now. So some of these, I'm not sure. Um, but if you, you're on the free version, um, it'll have like a little crown next to the ones that you can't choose. But I've only been using the free or the paid version for like two weeks and I was extremely happy with the free version. So anyways, I'll, I'll get to making this graphic. <laughs> so I'm just going to type in here. Okay. And then you can see you can't really read that. So I'm going to go back and change it. So I can go back over here and use this. Hey, Aubrey, it's Amanda. Just to kind of add on to the fonts, I use the free version and there are so many good free version or like fonts on the free version as well. Um, and then sometimes obviously I'll click on one and it will tell me that I need to buy it and I just move on to the next one. Yes. But there are really good fonts on the free version. Yes, I would definitely say you don't. The only reason that I decided 
to do the trial of the paid version is so that I can share with Lisa. Um, we're trying it out to see if we can do it better that way. Wow. Yeah, with the, the premium version, Aubrey, how many people can like op opt in to like share that account? So I can add up to five people. And then after that, I have to pay, I think 10 or $12 to add five more people. And then you keep paying and it gives you five people at a time. So wow. right now, that's a really good deal. Yeah. So right now I still have room to add three people on. And how much is the premium version? Do you remember? $12.99, $12.95, something in the 95s. $12.99 a month? Yes. Okay. Or it's like $120 a year, I think, something like that. Okay. So split between five people, it'd be like $25. Yes. That's not bad. That's not bad at all because right now I pay $15 a month with the over app. <gasps> Normally you guys, I do this on my phone and it's a lot faster. <laughs> okay. I tried to change it so you guys could read it. So I'm not going to do uh, like too much crazy typing stuff because you guys obviously know how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to add different like elements, um, different stickers, whatever. So, oh, you can see now it says like free when you go over it. And then when they say pro, that means that you have to have the um, paid version. So I don't know. I know, Amanda, you just said, I don't know if the fonts do the same thing. Let me know if you know. They do. Okay. So the graphics, yeah, um, there are free graphics on there too. Okay. That's what I thought. All right. So then I'm just going to add these little curly things to make it look cute. But typically what I do is I will see somebody's graphic on Pinterest or Instagram or um, Etsy, and I just go and make my own of that. Or... Um, if I just see something and I'm like, this is terribly ugly. I, I don't want to use this. <laughs> like I'll just go really quick and make my own thing. Um, and it's really not, it's not complicated. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if complicated is the right word, but, um, I feel like it can be kind, it was kind of intimidating at first and kind of took me a little bit to like play with it and just like figure out what everything was um, and where everything was. Um, but they just updated the app, I think a couple of days ago, at least on my phone they did. Um, and it made it a lot more user friendly. I have an Android, so that might have been, that might have been why um, iPhone might be a little bit ahead on that. But um, like I said, it's not, it's not super, um, complicated on your phone. It is a little bit harder, um, to save, um, once you've saved to edit it on, um, it's like a, this slide bar thing right here. You actually have to slide on your phone while you're trying to like change the size of the font and stuff. So it's a little bit harder and, um, on your phone for that and easier on the, um, computer to do that part. But then if I was done, which obviously I would add a little bit more information to this, um, but I'm not going to make you guys watch me type all that. You just go to download and then um, there are different options. So it, depending on how you want to save it, if you're going to print it or if you're going to just um, share it, you would save that to your computer there and then you would click download and it'll um, it's going to save it for me there. And then you can also click share. So if I wanted to um, share a link of this to Lisa so that she could then send it to her people, I would just click copy link. Um, and then as you can see here, she can edit it at this point or I can just let her just view it um, or whatever. And then she, if she doesn't like the color or whatever, she can change that, but that's a little bit more complicated. So 
Tell them, um, tell them what we did yesterday. Show them what we did? No, tell them what, like, I mean, you could show them what we did, but like, tell them how you added me on there. Oh, yeah. We were both <laughs> on the app, moving graphics at the same time. We're like, we were texting each other and we're like, let's move this here and let's move that here. <laughs> yeah. So because we have like the shared version, I was making a postcard and I texted her and I was like, Hey, come look at this. And before we'd never done it before. So we didn't realize that we could, um, all like be on working on the same thing at the same time and so she got on and she was like oh my gosh she's like I can see you moving it and then she started moving stuff and I was like I felt so nerdy because I was so excited that we were both able to work on the project at the same time it's just so funny yeah it's very cool so, yeah um and something else I was gonna say now Aubrey took now this is like for people like just getting started Aubrey took she's a little bit more advanced. She took a graphic and she completely changed everything. When you have a, a, an app like this, you can show them some templates, um, Aubrey. Yeah. So that they can just like know that they don't have to start completely from yeah. scratch. Yeah. That's, okay. that's pretty much what I do all the time is I just start from scratch. Right. So, um, let me just click on the postcards and I'll show you. Oh, no, never mind. That's not where I can see all the different ones. Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, no, it's not letting me scroll. Oh, here we go. Okay. So if I was going to do an Instagram post, I can click here and see all. And that. This is where I did like selection from the beginning. So, I mean, you'll even see like this one right here that says begin anywhere. I see people use that all the time and I just know, I'm like, oh, that's from Canva. They got that on Canva. Um, so you can scroll through any of these. Like I said, um, you can do search. So if I, like I had wanted mine to be green. So I narrowed it down by putting in the search bar that I wanted one that was green, but you literally, they have, so much stuff on here. My mom and I both used this app um, to design our Christmas cards that we mailed out to everyone this past year. Um, so they have all of this stuff already made literally for anything, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, newsletters, um, different like whatever those foldy pamphlet things are, are on here too. Like all, everything is on here. Um, and you can change the colors, make it look like whatever, whatever you, you want. Um, it's, that's the nicest thing about it. I would say is that it has so many options for pre-made templates because before I was using this and I was just making, um, like before I realized I could use the templates and I was starting from like scratch, that was what's the hardest thing, but now I can whip up a little Instagram post graphic or story graphic um, in like less than five minutes, which is so nice. Yeah, does anybody have any questions at all? This is great, Aubrey. Um, I'm probably the best one to, because I, I hate doing graphics. I always rely on Lisa or I go find them because that's just not my thing. I don't, that's just not me. Um, so I, I've been blessed that she's loved it all this time. But I do know that not to annoy her every single time, time just like with everything we have to up our game and learn a little bit of it so I have been playing and Lisa had told me about the over app so I did start with over and then recently in the last few months I have learned with camera and even for me that has absolutely nothing you are absolutely right canva to me is way more um easier I guess to maneuver and create and so I do like it better a lot so this is really helpful though I love it thank you yeah, I've never used over. I just started with Canva because I think when I was getting started and I just like looked up um, on the app store, it was the first thing that came up. But I feel like it's pretty user friendly, even for people who get on and have like no idea. Because I mean, I feel like I still have no idea. Like I wouldn't consider myself like a graphic design expert or anything crazy. But yeah. <laughs> 
So I've had Canva for over a year and I learned, <laughs> I learned a lot tonight. <laughs> I pay for it in the book. Like I've had it probably, I would say probably two years and, but I use it for stuff like, like you said, like the Christmas cards or like, um, homeschool stuff or stuff like that. I've never used it. And I'm not going to lie. I still, I'm like, for, for using it for graphics, for putting it on a story. And I just, <laughs> I just learned it's, it has an app. <laughs> to do this from my phone. <laughs> I've never looked up <laughs> the app. So um, this is great information. Yeah, I don't know why I just always so like, actually, while it was on the computer here, and why your screen was up, I'm sitting here trying to touch I'm like, Oh, let me see that one. Because I was just so used. And I was like, it's, it's not my screen. It's not because my, my computer is touch screen. So I go to touch the template, you know, that I seen I'm like, Oh, let me touch it. And then it, of course, it's not my set up on my computer but anyways I did I, I learned a lot so it's that's crazy like I didn't know to use it for uh graphics and so like the story graphics and all that stuff I literally just use it for mail outs or um homeschool stuff <laughs> and then now the app now that I know that's on my phone let me start getting back on my phone again <laughs> so oh and I didn't know that we could do more than multiple people because if I'd have known that, I could be sharing with all of y'all, but it don't matter. One thing that I will say, and this was great, this was a great walkthrough for the Canva app. Um, something that I will say that we discovered is that the, the Canva app doesn't, even in the pro version, it does not have the capabilities to search for Young Living bottles. Um, you actually have to download files of, or pictures from Flickr, somebody told me this, you have to download it from Flickr and then upload it into your Canva account. So then all of those graphics are there for you to pull from. And with the over app, and that's the only reason why I haven't given up the over app because I depend on it. Like I make graphics probably every single day. Mm -hmm. And I make a lot of graphics with oil bottles, especially for our like promo oil, promo um, stuff. and. Um, at the beginning of the, the month. So that's one of the drawbacks. Um, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, also the, the five thing, I think um, Janelle said, so 25 a year, if you share with five people, yes. Um, so 120 a year. So about, I don't know. Like, yeah. is that? So divided by five people is, I don't know how much. <laughs> yeah. Like that. so I think that's why I didn't think to use Canva for young living is because I think I've searched it before and then it would did nothing the bottles and stuff because your graphics are cute like I really and I was like but there yeah a lot a lot of stuff don't and not even just essential oils things don't show up for that either so it's it all that. like um photos I haven't found any of like the little graphics there are just like pictures on there of like essential oils okay. which some of them are young living oils which has been great but they're not like the little. There's not an abundance of them. Like yeah. at least it goes out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what I do is um I'll take like pictures of my own bottles, and then I will upload them onto my Canva app and add them onto whatever graphic I'm creating on there. So that's how I get like Young Living essential oil photos onto my graphics. And then also just something else to add with the Canva app. I really love how it has the option to do an Instagram story. I'm really weird about like it taking up the whole screen on the story. It's just like a pet peeve of mine. Um, my OCD kicks in. But um, when you're doing the Instagram story, if you move something too far to the side on Canva, it pops up with a little purple box on it too because when you upload it to your Instagram story, it expands. So it's kind of warning you like, hey, if this expands, it might cut off some of your wording as well. So that's another reason why I like to use the app for my Instagram um graphics too for my stories yeah because it just it shows I mean you just it's literally right on the top there like you can do the Instagram post or Instagram story so I just learned that and I don't show that from the computer screen that I'd have remember I like I like it on um the phone better in my personal opinion. yeah yeah very cool so um 
Aubrey, before you sign up, like you start getting uh, people that are interested in sharing an account, make yep. sure, make sure that it's not that they just have access to what you share with them, but they actually have the pro account. Does that make sense? No. Okay. So for right now, you're signed up as a pro account, so you can share the graphics that you make with five people. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Make sure that before we get people thinking that they can share a, a pro account, that they can actually get in and have the pro features and not just you sharing what you make with them. That might be some just some details that we need to work out and just to verify that. I'm gonna stop the share. Well, it, okay. Um, all right, y'all go ahead. Is it go? Is it so? So then, is it five people with sharing the same password for the account type deal? Where, where do you, how then? How's it sharing? What is it? Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm. That's what we have to figure out then, I guess. Yeah, it just kind of clicked with me because because I was like, because when I go into Canva, it still tells me that I need to that I don't have the pro account, that I need to update, upgrade to the pro account. Well, then how are y'all sharing account? How did y'all get into the same account? So because we have in, like a team. Like when I log in here, can you see this? Canva is okay. free. As Aubrey Hardwick's team. Yeah. That's really oh. good for me. Yeah. It, because, and that's what I'm like, it's kind of clicking with me. I'm like, wait a minute. I still sign in to Canva and it still says the upgrade. And I'm like, why am I still upgrading? I should, you know, I should have access now. But I'm thinking maybe you only have access to a team of sharing with five different people. So yeah, that's, um, yeah, because I just clicked on menu and the notification popped up and it said that I just it said some, oh, invite four people to team up on Canva Pro for free. Okay. And so let's just research it. And the people that are on here, Alice and Janelle, Amanda, Christy, um, we'll just kind of like touch base. And once we find that out, um, $25 is a lot cheaper than the $14.99 I pay every single month. <laughs> so if we have to do a little bit of work to download oil bottles or honestly, I don't know. Um, you know, it would be like Spotify, like the spam, like we have a family Spotify plan. So everybody has their own username. So me, my husband, and then two of the kids, we can have four people at a time and they all have their own email and password, but we're all under the same plan. Yeah. Like I sent them a leap. So like right here, I can, I send, I send or no, to invite a member, I just type in the email address. So I could type in your email address and it'll say here, join this team. Right. And then you set up your own username and password. But it has, but we're just trying to make sure that I'm going to be given the pro features. Does that make sense? I could still do Canva. Oh, yeah. Well, it said that. It said, you well, it did say that. It said invite four people to experience, the, to experience a pro, a Canva pro. You would just have to. I'm yeah. trying to look and see. All right. what it That's something we can all research and get back to each other later. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Aubrey. I appreciate that. Um, and next week we are doing uh, all about that Frank and we are doing a frankincense class and we've really covered so much already, Kathy and I tag teaming um, like in the group, but that's okay. We're going to put it all together in one class and um, I'm on board with uh, taking over the class next week. And I think Kathy, are you doing leadership? Uh, yes, we okay. are going to be talking about the comp plan, okay. inside and out, how to benefit from the comp plan. Perfect. And we've had so many updates late, lately that it's going to be so good to have a new video for the comp plan. So it'd be great. All right. Thank you girls so much for coming every week and showing up. We have an awesome team. Y'all, Is this is just such a really, really good team. And I'm so thankful for you. And um, yeah, we'll talk later. Good. Bye, Bye. guys.